Okay, I can't record the show. That's not good. But anyway, hello. But it's a live, podcast. Yeah. I, I have no idea what's going. Should we have the opening titles? Where the hell's that gone? Huh? <laughs> what you fight for, what you want, for all that you believe. It's right to fight for what we want. Look at the suitcase, guys. The way we please. As long as we have done our best, then no one can do more. And life and love and happiness are well worth fighting for. For some bizarre reason, Windows Media Player decided not to play the pictures part of this. Um, so I'm a bit lost. I have no idea what's going on. Hello there, welcome to the Flashing Blade podcast. Emergency Any warning. Pixelated. There's a chance we may suddenly stop streaming. Um, you can blame Virgin Media for this. Uh, oh, well, me, I wasn't able to pay the bill. Uh, so, yes, um, right, so this is the 23rd show of this particular iteration. Um, dear Bob, with me is Eddie. Hello. And Essential Brian. Hello. Oh, hello, it's caught cool on there. That's when you say goodbye, love. <laughs> yeah, be seeing you. It's... <laughs> Oh, Eddie's had an accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Setting a new standard. Yeah, huh. just when I it's think, there. just when I think it can't get worse. <laughs> Suddenly, no opening titles. Eddie's camera goes that flying. Hot. That hot. I took my orbs off. I was sore. No more of that stuff. <laughs> Right then, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing very well. Um, guys, how are you coping? Uh, having in a there. better day today. Having a better day today. Good. We, we approve of this. Uh, I'm starting to go mad with the loneliness. Uh, but there we go. Um, right. What are we doing tonight? News. Should we have some news? Sure. Do we have news? I don't know. Do Brian, said, Brian, you seem to think we've got news. What's the news? We have news? I don't know. I was um, asking you. Oh, um, I don't know. America's going to hell. Uh, well, let's put it this way. At least the right-wing Americans will be the ones that die. Yeah. Because, I yeah, mean, people I'm are going to die problem. either way, but with their stupidity. Um, yeah. However, I can I'm understand. Darwinism. It's a it is book Darwinism. Revelations time. It's... I'm not sure if we should start counting from 20. I don't think it's a biblical plague, love. It could be one of them. We don't know. What, what, sorry, hang on. One of them? Yes. Seven years of badness, according to Revelation. Who the hell broke a mirror? I. I. God. Trump. Trump is the badness. <laughs> well, that face, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was Trump. Or Zool. Yeah, it could be Zool. Adam's quite right there. Right then. Yeah. So, uh, shall we risk this? Shall we see if we can actually get this to work? Uh, let's have a quick look. On to there. Play, play, all play, 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 play. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No! <laughs> What's happened? To the window. The lens window. It's, it's been resized. It's 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 doing a thing. I I genuinely have no idea what's going on here. Oh my word! Right, hang on. There's a thing going on here. If I go, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll work it out for next week. How more services will be resumed next week? Our technical production quality is second to none. Well, it's it's certainly second to something. But maybe it's just the none. Yeah. 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 I miss the old days when I used one. to professionally edit podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Purcell. Um, <laughs> right. So, 
We've been doing watching of Doctor Who, so you don't have to. Uh, the fourth Doctor Who, and the first, he's plucky girl assistant, the first Romana Dratulunda. Um, well, they're on a bit of a quest. They're looking for the key to time. And they've got two bits, and now they're going to get the third. Hooray! Or will they? That needed a da, 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 sort of music. Yeah, it, 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 it did really, didn't it? So, um, <laughs> the key to time bender. Um, so, anyway, yes, as I've written the chat, it's terrible. Um, so, right. I chose this one because it was summary up to a point. Um, and it's one of the more delightful Doctor Who stories. Um, let's go to Brian to see what he made of it. I if loved you... it. Yep. Why? Why? Okay. Tom Baker. It's my favorite doctor. Mm -hmm. It's Mary Tam. Mm -hmm. my... I like her Romana. Mm -hmm. It's on Gallifrey. Mm -hmm. Where he... No, it's not. It's on Earth. Yeah. No. It's... I'm sure it has. It's on. Key to time? Is. Right. The Stones, of Stones of Blood is set on Earth. Oh, shoot. What did, what did I watch then? I don't know. You told <laughs> no, us. No. Oh, that's right. It, I was. Sorry, I was confusing the one before it. I watched two classic Doctor Who's. Right. What Both was the other Romana. one? Right. The Stones are the ones with the uh, Druid chick. Yeah. What and was the so... other one you watched? Because I'm going to have fun with this. Oh, you're going to have... Oh, let's go. What was it? Uh, not the... Not the uh, hang on. I don't there. think there was one... In there the, wasn't there a was Romana one? one set on Gallifrey. He, he, he's off... Time. That's Leela, love. That's right. I don't know. It's getting to in. him. I'm in it's quarantine, damn it! It's getting to him. You get to go out one day a week and go to Burger King. Oh, Rude. I could just oh, Burger King. Uh, yep, so, uh, yes. Uh, I can understand, because yeah. it did have Rodan in it, which is a sort of proto-Romana character. Right. But... Invasion of Time is the one where he loses Leela. Yes. So yeah. sad. So love. But anyway, coming back to the Stones of Blood, which is set on Earth, what did you make of that, Brian? Basically an immortal <laughs> alien using silicon creatures to that are powered by human sacrifice or blood. I, okay, I can get behind some of that. Um, this one did have Mary Tam. Um, I think the older lady. I think the older lady in the episode, though. Professor Amelia Rumford, played by Beatrice Lerman. The took the freaking cake. She was her brilliant. And wasn't canine, she? Her and K9 were. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. But it's with it's like with off series that never should have that should have happened. That never should have happened. It should have happened. The thing is, I mean, I'm pretty sure this must be where Tom got the idea of having him with an older companion. Mm -hmm. Um because they just work so brilliantly together. Professor it's actually quite a strong series for um sorry, a strong story for female leads. You've got the Kaliak, you've got Amelia. Um, and indeed, the, the one male, other male character, is, um, how do we put it? Pretty crap, really. De Vries. Oh, the guy, the, the Kaliak. Kaliak, Kaliak. yes, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. De Vries, I think his name was called. I, 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 this is the target book kicking in now. It, it's filling in little bits of information. God, they were wonderful. Um, so what, what about you, Eddie? Oh, that, that's this is part of that. This is uh, Tom Baker's, you know, my favourite Doctor. But I, I, I like this season of Tom Baker. This is this is the only Tom Baker season where's that the, I've actually got. The where's, where's the Where's the picture? Where's the Diamond logo picture? Oh, don't worry. I've I've, I've got a tattoo of it now in my back. It was like not worthy of the Diamond logo. It was logo. branded. Uh, quite painful. You'll enjoy it. Uh, it was it was sore. Yeah. Seriously, if I uh, ever ever get a tattoo, that's what I'd get. I'm worthy <laughs> of the Diamond logo. <laughs> Uh, but I, I love again. I, I I like Romana one better than I like. Really, you see, I like Lala. 
Yeah, that's, that's, I know that's my proper choice, wow. but I, 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 oh, God. <laughs> I'll be back in a Normal services will be resumed in a few minutes. I'm going to send you some or of my or special or pills. <laughs> For a day, love, that's what you need. You'll be fine. Um, I, I just... Me return, they're they're I, just I, little I, and blue, that's all. And the major takeaway from this, Mary, Mary, I've not got a foot fetish, but Mary Tam has got lovely toes. <laughs> sure, we have absolutely lovely toes. That was, that was a big takeaway for me for this episode. Yeah, oh, she wears the open-toed toes. sandals, right? And for the first little bit, yeah. 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 Got lovely feet. Yeah, maybe I have got a foot fetish. Maybe I didn't even realise I had one. But uh, yeah, so... Uh, like Actually, that, who I, I, you discover things about yourself? Yes, learning something every day in isolation is great. Uh, Doctor Rumford, I loved that. Was so uh, professor, much a, a, professor, professor, story. professor. Yes, that that was that was the 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 the, the, the assistant or companion that, that really should have been there. I, I really enjoyed that, and the woman that played was great as well. Yeah, and the, the rapport with canine. It was like, oh, I, I'd have loved to have seen that. Uh, the, uh, was 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 uh, Douglas Adams involved in this season at all? As well? mm, uh, he script edited a little bit of the Armageddon Factor, and he wrote yeah. the previous story, but he didn't have anything to do with this. David yeah, Fisher's stuff story. has been, especially his books, are pseudo Douglas Adams. To be honest with you, because I, I, I love the judges in the ship in hyperspace. The judges, oh, the judges, the Megara, the, ju- the Megara. I, I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it was the whole thing around us, the little cursors and their pure logic and the doctor just stalling and using every Tom Baker sh- trick in the book to, to, to put them down or, or fool them. And even the bit with, with Tom Baker where he's, he's, he's in the sacrificial pyre and he's about to get stabbed and he's saying to them, oh, that's a dirty looking knife, I might catch something <laughs> off of that. It was just Baker. Was, that's I thought there might be all about Douglas Adams in this. But no, uh, uh, that this is this is a great episode. Key to Time series is just classic, absolute Doctor Who. Yeah. There's that Doc Gothic element as well, so it ticks a lot of boxes for me. I really enjoyed this. Really oh, enjoyed I'm it. pleased. That's good. Well, are you pretty happy with it? You, did you enjoy Tom's oh, Wick? Oh yeah. Tom's yeah, Wick. Maybe more. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's lawyer's Wick. Yeah. Oh, no, he's Which is somehow he got out of his pocket. Confused like his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the pockets are bigger on the inside. <laughs> the thing is, that's the sort of thing people slag off about it. And this case, oh, for heaven's sakes, turn your brains off and just enjoy it. Right? You know? You don't have to think so hard with this stuff. Just enjoy it. Have fun. Mm-hmm. No, I, I love the Graham Williams era of Doctor Who. I really, really do. Um, have I got any notable exceptions from that? No, I don't think so. Even the Horns and I'm on. Though it's a bit of a chore to watch. Um... It's all right. So, that was a thumbs up to the Stones of Blood, then. Oh, two. Oh, yeah. Set on Gallifrey. Two thumbs up and, four, and five toes. Great. It was spot on. Go out and watch it. It's on Britbox, folks. Um, oh, you might be able to get hold of the DVD at some stage. Uh, I'm you... actually going to go back and watch the first two story arcs for the key to time. Right, then. All right, we're going to do it. <coughs> if you're going to do that anyway. I'm, I'm just going to do it because, you know, well, we're getting the third part of the key. You see, I did this with... can't jump in the middle. I I did this with Joe all, the, all those years ago. We did a sequential run of the key to time uh, <coughs> over six episodes. We'll do the same here, except not entirely sequential. So next week, and we were going to do the Mask of Mandragora, we'll do the rebus operation. All right, so that's that's the first one. And the first Mary Pam. And Eddie, Eddie will be happy. After that, yeah, um, I don't know. Random order. Oh, yeah, dude, let's do a random Eddie. order. Full time lady outfit. I think it's the silver one. Uh huh. Again. Ouch. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Don't get me excited like that. Brian. She doesn't wear the full-time la- lady outfit. She never wears a full-time no, 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 lady outfit. No, no, she wears the long silver gown, doesn't she? No. The long white one? Yes. I remember her... Yeah. That really made a, an impression on you, didn't it? I had... When did this come out? 1978. 
1978, I was five. I still remember it, okay? How did you watch it on original transmission when you were five? Uh, PBS. I wonder how soon they got it then after it was shown at the beep. Oh, I, do we still have a show going on, on Twitch? Uh, good question. Mm, that'll be Are interesting. we on Twitch? Oh, we're on Twitch. We're on still. Twitch! Hooray! We're, still, we're still there. Let, right, let's move on, shall we? And Adam is, you know. <laughs> Hello, Greg Lover, 1980. How lovely to see you. Welcome to the Flashing Blade. You're more than welcome. Look, you see, I can do nice. Hey, everyone. Yeah, wow. it's cool. Right then. Countermeasures. Big finish time, boys and girls. Um, yes. The latest countermeasures releases. There's two of them. Um, there's the Mavellan Gambit and the Dalek. Or was it Mavellan Maneuver and Dalek Gambit? It's something like that. Um, Mavellan Maneuver and Ga Dalek Gambit. Dalek Gambit. Yeah. Something. Yeah, thank you very much. That, that's good. Um, obviously, they, they run on from each other. Uh it's based on the Intrusion Countermeasures group from Remembrance of the Daleks. So you've got Group Captain Gilmore, Professor Rachel Jensen, Dr. Alison Williams, uh, played by the original cast from Remembrance of the Daleks. And also they're joined by um, a Toby Kinsler, uh, who's their boss uh, at Countermeasures. And Toby. Sir Toby, basically. And the initial series was set in the 60s. They then moved it forward... Um, to the 70s, the new countermeasures, they called it. Adam, what do you mean, have you already done 3.1? We're going to carry on, I'll let you answer that, because I don't know what you mean by 3.1. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, basically, there's a new product on the market, which is going to help every single housewife in the land. It's your friend and mine, your plastic pal. That's fun to be with. It's your very own robot. It's a Roomba. Uh, ah, I see. Right. So, uh, no, we haven't done 3.1, Adam. Um, right. No, I think... No, I don't think we did. Anyway, sorry. Yes, and countermeasures are a little bit uh, suspicious because their old enemy, Lady Claire, uh, seems to be behind it. Mm. Who's got a thing for Sir Toby? Yeah, now I don't want to give away too many spoilers on this because it is new. Um, I think it was released, it's just about to be released, or it has been released, I'm not sure. Um, but I didn't get any... Um, Embargo, date embargo. So I'm assuming we're okay to do this. Uh, so, yeah, without giving too much away, um, the Mavellans are involved. And where go the Mavellans? Um, there go the Daleks. And yes, they turn up. Still with an uh, annoying servo motor noises. That must have been a gift for Big Finish. That really must. Hooray! We've actually, we don't have to. Think, should we put the noise of casters squeaking as the Daleks move? <laughs> They've actually got servo motors. But the thing is, it doesn't feel like the Daleks have servo motors. Daleks are supposed to be silent. Um, okay, rant over. Uh, yeah, I'll probably say that every time I listen to the Daleks in the Big Finish story. So, um, Eddie, you start on this one. Kick us off. Disappointed, false advertising. Gambit wasn't in it, which meant there was no pub day. End of, wasn't interested. No, You've been oh. waiting all bloody week to crack that gag, haven't you? Since Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up. I actually have it written down to read a reminder to tell you that. But anyway, no, it, it, it's great. It, it, these, I really, really enjoyed these. Uh, having been brought up on, when been off sick from school, <clears throat> uh, watching repeats of the Persuaders and all those kind of the, the, the pretenders and all things like that, it's... It's got that feel of the the the, the, the still still for you, Brian. It's that group seventies dynamic adventure yeah. series with Doctor Who and Daleks and Mavellans thrown in. It was yes, really really good. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't think you meant the Pretenders. They're the ones that walked five hundred miles and then walked five hundred more, miles more, which they no, can't do it at the course. moment. The the oh, Chrissy Hind. Yes, you're quite right. <laughs> oh, slap down there from getting it wrong. Um. Yeah, it, it is fun listening to it. I thought it was a little bit a bit slow up to a point. Different people have different thoughts. Thank God. Uh, God, look at him. 
Hello, that cat by the way up there was Chestnut. He's he's just come in and he's very happy. Hello. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Brian, welcome yes. to Intrusion Countermeasures. I liked it. Why? It felt like a good romp. It was a good little adventure. Had the necessary, you know, oh, character development of Ian and Rachel, you know. That was they, won't they? That was sort of hinted at in Remembrance of the Daleks. Yeah. And then the novel made it a bit more explicit. Um, God, that was a hell of a novelization. Will they, won't they, you know, Dave and Maddie. Yeah, oh, nice moonlighting reference. Moonlighting yeah. reference, yes. <laughs> God, we're all old. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The cat... Quite remarkably, actually, I've got these. I've mentioned this before. I've got these cubby hole boxes uh, where you put things in, you slide them back in, and the cats have utterly destroyed them. But one of the top ones is still okay, and the cat has just done this remarkable three-point turn in midair, almost clinging onto something, <coughs> so he could eventually get from the top of the thingy into the box, and now he's in there. It, it remarkable, amazing athleticism. Sorry, I've gone off tangent, haven't I? I'm drifting. You can say we something. We were talking about moonlight. We were talking oh, about moonlight. Yeah. Yeah. Quite yeah. right too. So, yeah, so good character development, good side stories. I love yeah. the soundscape. Anything that goes boom, crash, wall, bang. There's a lot things. of that, isn't that? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Again, we're not going to go into the story, but we can tell you we enjoyed no. it. We did enjoy it. They get the Mavellans right with that very slightly artificial speech tone that Commander Cheryl had in Destiny. Um, oh. Coffee. Yep, yeah, this is one to go out and get. Or oh, two to go out and get, should I say. Well worth it. Yes. Um, um, I've heard rumours it's the end of countermeasures. Oh no! Oh, no. There, well, there are there is other stuff you can listen to. I mean, earlier stuff. You got the sixties stuff, but um, and they do. Well, they certainly seem to give that hint. He's trying to get back out now. Oh God! I wish you could see this. He's done it as well. Cats are very bendy. I've noticed this. They're liquid. They are a liquid. I'm pretty sure. And he's trying to get. What is he? Is he playing? Chestnut. What are you doing? <coughs> Why am I asking him? He never answers. So, <clears throat> we enjoyed that. So, that's two good lots of Doctor Who then this week. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Aha, uh -huh, it's a plug for a, a, an enemy podcast. Uh, we're covering all of this in the new, in the third new Countermeasures box set in the next Staggering Stories podcast. That's available from www.staggeringstories.net. It's a very, very good podcast. Slightly Didn't we beat wrong. them in the uh, Doctor Who trivia We thing? did beat them in the Doctor Who well, trivia yeah, thing. I wasn't yeah. going to mention that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm going to be honest with you, that could have gone either way, to be fair. I think it was just pure luck that we beat them more than anything else. And we were both fairly far down the list anyway. So uh, that was a lot of fun. But we can't do it again because it was five hours, including this show, and it was just too long. <laughs> to win is to be losers. <laughs> it's okay. We will retire as champions. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll happily no retire rematch. as champions. Yeah, no, no rematch. We were going to go for best of three no if no you man. won. but <laughs> So, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. The, the quiz of Rassilon. Registrations, I think, are going to be opening on the 6th of May for the next one. Um... Keep an eye on Twitter, Quiz of Rassilon. There might be a Facebook book page, I'm not sure. Um, but it's well worth taking part. It's a lot of fun and fiendishly difficult. Um, not as difficult as the questions on the Staggering Stories quiz, uh, where we did a live showdown, myself and Luke Harrison, from the Minute Doc 2 podcast, um, in a boat. And I mean in a boat. Um, in Cardiff Bay, well, Cardiff Harbour, uh, for, I can't remember which Staggering Stories anniversary it was, 100th podcast, I can't remember, we had a live quiz, and Adam set the, the questions, 
You thought the ones in the quiz are rattle on the heart? No. No, trust me. They're nothing compared to this. These were very, very worked. It was the fifth. What was the fifth? I didn't come fifth. I came second. I lost out to Luke, who fair dues won it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. That's the Doctor Who stuff. We Oh, the fifth anniversary. Thank you very much. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, Hello. Hopefully you can see us. Oh, we're back. Uh, hooray. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Um, like I said, I'm going to pay the internet bill, and they throttle me right down to ridiculous things. So, where were we? We were talking uh, about the Proclaimers. No, we weren't. Let's move on to the no. Prisoner. Yes, we watched the Schizoid Man. And the head games are continuing. Um... There's another number six, except he's number 12. But who is number 12? Is it number six? We just don't know. Eddie will come to you in a moment for all the facts and figures. Brian, go for it. Hi. What did you make of it? It was a mindfuck. <laughs> You've not seen anything yet. <laughs> um. No, I know. It, it, it was the start of the mindfuck. It was... Literally six pretending to be 12, trying to convince 12 that's playing six that he's the original six. Yeah. And how <laughs> did they make him left handed again? Electroshock treatment? Uh, version, Electroshock therapy. Therapy. Yeah. version therapy. Version yeah. therapy. Yeah. Makes you wonder how long they took. Well, long enough to grow a fine moustache. That was a definitely good porn mustache. It, it was. It was 70s porn Colin worthy, quite frankly. I'll have to show you a picture of 70s porn Colin, Brian. Uh, you'll never get over it. Come on in, Eddie. Fill us in on this. So, number two in this one was the great actor Anton Rogers. Indeed, uh, did we? On Fresh Fields, Fresh Fields. Uh, With who, Nicholas uh, Courtney. Watched... Yes. Uh, and when you watched Nicholas Courtney was in this, I in, no, 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 no. He's in French Fields. Oh, 
So, so me, me, and my, me and Angela have been watching because I've got, one of my guilty pleasures is watching terrible 1980s, 70s sitcoms. So we've been watching reruns of Fresh Fields and French Fields. Yeah. And when I explained to Angela, who I was watching The Prisoner with this morning, that's the guy from French Fields, we had a, not an argument, we had a constructive discussion because she refused to believe that it was the same guy that was in French Fields. That's because that's he hadn't put on weight yet. Yes, and he's still at the head of hair. Uh, there is that as well. I, 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 I think I've put on far too much weight. Um, this Just time, remember, this time I last year, I was able to fit into a velvet jacket I had. This now I can't. So this is a problem. I am getting in shape during this quarantine. Round is still a shape. <laughs> Very true. Spherical, surely. So, so as Brian rightly said, this episode features six being tried to be persuaded that he's twelve, trying to pretend that he's six, uh, and it does get rather confusing in places. It, it was the, the the sequence of this. It was episode I think we're on fourth or five just now. Mm -hmm. uh, it, mm -hmm. Originally, if you go to the box set, it's a lot earlier. It's less trippy than the episode that we watched last week, which is why some people say it should be swapped. Uh, so this one's more your. Danger Man esque episode, uh, elements of playing head games, but it's not as trippy or as like fantastic as it's going to get Ryan. And it's going to get scary. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You've got a lot to look yeah. forward to. Eddie, what's next week's one on the normal transmission order? Next week, next week is the general. Ah, I so like this one. one. Oh, yeah. yes, they made mention of the general in this episode. Yes. That's very well, true, but well. possibly a different thing. Um, uh, I, I will say is that the, the general, um, they stole a bit of the closing bit of, of um, the general for the opening to the uh, Tubes prisoner special, The Laughing Prisoner, when they had Arnold Brown coming out and going, why? Why not? Um, <clears throat> fascinating fact, one week too early. <laughs> Yes, next week's a fun one. The next week is Big Finish. At uh, Big Finish, what? What? Next week is the Prisoner. How did I mix those up? Next week is the Prisoner. Um, very much against the authorities. Um, it's a good one. I like next week's one. But uh, you've got that to discover. What are we going to be doing next week? We are going to be doing well. The general. We're going to be looking at the reboss operation, and oh. Yeah, I'm going something slightly different. Big Finish have just released the first of the time slip audios. Uh, so we're going to have a listen to that. Now, I've only seen the first time slip uh, story. Um, I really should... I think they're all on YouTube. Um, I really should play catch up with that. Um, yeah. So we're going to look at that. It's slightly different, but we've got enough Doctor Who in prison to keep us going forward. No sing-along tonight, because, quite frankly, it's not... It's not right. It isn't. It isn't. There were complaints. I summoned an elder demon last time. Yeah, I, I've had the UN round here knocking on the door. It, it, it's not been good. Uh, no, Adam. It's society over. They want me to stop performing, Trevor. They don't want me anywhere near It's not good. Well, well, uh, you're having to move because of it. You'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, dear dear caterwauling. He sings like a bagpipe. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Never had the meaning of cats sounded so melodic. Uh, oh, well, hang on a second. Did you see that Twin Peaks done by cats and other animals? The no, Twin Peaks no. theme tune done by cats and other animals. It's That's brilliant. It's on Facebook, down. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to have to Google this. Yeah, you need to. Uh, uh, Brig Lover's back. And Brig Lover, yes, thank you so much for the follow. Um, really do appreciate it. Um, that's great. That's lovely. Brick Love 1980. I wonder who that is. Do I know them? We'll never know. Okay, uh, that's it for um, part two of the show. I hope you enjoyed the words from our sponsors. Um, yeah, we'll be back same time next week. Uh, on the Saturday evening, of course, we've got the Marvel RPG. The guys are now back on Earth. And what did you end up doing last night? Oh, yeah, just watching the Latverian Embassy, and that was it. And everybody's moved into my apartment. Yes, and you also you went to the library, or didn't you? My other apartment. 
Um, oh, oh, yeah, don't worry. We will be at the Capitol. I promise you, I will be at the Capitol. So, yeah, I wonder if that's who I think it is. Um, so, yeah, that's it for tonight. Um, have a lovely week. Um, enjoy yourselves. Be kind to each other. I always say this, but I mean it. Really do. Um, my boys, my boys. Oh, I've gone into a terrible stereotype. That was, that was bad. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, I was going to say my boys. Say goodbye. I thought it was. I bloody thought it was Lisa and Hugh. Mwah. Hi, guys. We'll see you in October. Say goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. We're now going to sing the closing theme tune. Look at their faces freeze. <laughs> and then he's gone. <laughs> Oh dear, we'll see you later guys. No